Here are the air tanks that I made. All right, so the way I made those straps, that is just painter's tape cut with the tiny scissors and wrapped around. Okay, then I put some goop on the bottom. I gooped in these two pieces of aluminum because that's what I happen to have on hand. These guys are going to sit here about like that. Okay. Oh, oh I also did a bunch of detail. Uh, decal work it's not quite finished yet um, we've got to deal with the uh, separation between the doors and stuff these are these decals are like 50 years old maybe even older and I didn't show it because they're really difficult to do and and it took a ton of concentration to do that get these red stripes on here and these red stripes on here um, sometime we'll go through doing old decals, but what I did do was I used uh, micro set Microsoft I used decal bonder you paint it on and it did work, but decals like this Very often will disintegrate as I found out on these red stripes Okay, anyways, let's get on with the air tanks. Okay. Now they ain't perfect but they're going to be cool. <clears throat> so what we want to do is, I've already made a little piece here. I'm going to put this pipe right here in the ends, just like that. Whoops, we want it, we want it in there just like that. And the way we're going to do that, okay, the way we're going to get these in here just like that, is we're gonna use super glue and baking soda. Oh yes. We're gonna do the super glue baking soda trick. Alright, so what we need then. Let's see if these tweezers can pick this guy up. Not that good though, no. Uh, let's find some other guys that are a little stiffer. Maybe these guys. Can these guys do it? Alright. So I got some, so what these are, this is plastic pipe with another plastic pipe pounded down the middle. And then I just rounded off the edges, and they're not exact or anything. They're just, hey, they're, they're meant to just look cool. All right, so now I got my paper towel, my baking soda right here. So I got a bunch of baking soda here. And I got a number 17 flat blade so I can scoop it up. And I got a brand new thing of some super glue. So let's go ahead first and on the paper towel, let's see if we get some super glue out of here. Yep, there it is. Okay, now, now that I got it, I've got this guy to stand it up. What I want to do is I want to put, I want to put some super glue in the end of each one of these. And the thing is, it's in the air pressure and whatnot, there's not going to be much, it's not going to go in that great, but it's going to be probably good enough for our purpose. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, the guy I've already made. These probably aren't the best tweezers either. I'm going to put them in there. Okay. Then I'm going to pull them out just a little bit like that. See how far I can pull them out. Okay. Like that. I'm going to put some more super glue on them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Now they're in there. I'm going to push them in about where I want them. About like that. This is a jewelry wire. We'll get to that in a minute. Now I'm going to take this baking soda and I'm going to go over the top of that and just like that. Okay. Let's do it on the bottom too. Mm -hmm. What this baking soda is going to do is it's going to fill the ends like that. And they're going to look like that. And then I can paint them. Yep. Feels good. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that's the easy part. Well, actually, that's how I, that's the ending part. There's a bunch of piping that will run around here and around here and stuff. So I've got some 20 gauge jewelry wire here. This happens to be green. I'm gonna take a piece off. Right, let's make a space here. I'm gonna take a piece off. I'm gonna cut it off. Oh, how about like this? Okay. You can see this piece. It's not that straight. So what you do, now the jewelry lady says there are two ways to make this a straight piece of wire. 
One, you clamp it in a vise and pull it really hard. And yes, you can do that. Um, but I like method two better. Method two is you take a piece of two by four like this, with grains, and you roll it. You roll it. And you keep rolling it. You roll it. And you roll it. Wait, and you roll it some more. Hold it, hold it. You roll it some more. I said more. And it goes on the floor then. Then, then you gotta take your uh, little pirates and pick it up again. All right, you're good. Now, all right, so basically, even though it's, if the wire is less than this width, you get a better result. But this is good enough for what we're doing. Because it ain't gonna have to be that long. But now I've got a straight piece of wire. Okay, and now, I've got a wiring plan, and I wrote it in my locomotive lab book, which all of you should have. So let's take a look at my wiring, my piping plan. There it is, the piping plan. As you can see, I've got my two air tanks. We already put the end piece in. One of them comes out, goes down in. One of them comes out around here, goes around, goes all the way around the beer cake stacks, and then goes down in. That's what the picture shows, as good as I can find it. It may not be the best, and it might not even be correct, but in the picture, that's what it looks like. That is, right there, the piping plan. That's what I see in the picture. I'm going to make it based on what I see. So there we go. That's how we're going to do the piping. Oh, beer kegs in. Same thing, two plastic pipe. Can I just round it off the edges?